This is one of the easiest ways to make subtitles for shorts in Premiere Pro. I'm teaching you this after having worked for months with Vic and perfecting our style for subtitles. So I'm gonna show you a few tricks that you don't see anywhere else on the internet. The video is very short, so just pay close attention and stick till the end. Let's get right into it. Usually I make my subtitles before editing anything in the video, but as you can see, this is a final edit. This really doesn't matter. I'm gonna transcribe the sequence. So you're gonna go on the top left. But you have like a panel here, which says text. If you don't, probably can choose it here from window. You just click on the blue button that says transcribe. You'll have it either way. And then you move on to captions right next to transcript. Click create captions from transcript. You make the maximum length seven. So you just go all the way down and then single lines and then you create captions. Once you created the captions, they'll pop up on the top. You select them all and you go into graphics and titles and you click upgrade caption to graphic. Now this is gonna be text that you can edit. So you drag it down wherever you want. I usually put it like underneath the transitions. I select it all and then go to essential graphics. All right, from essential graphics, I use the font that you always use for Vic, Sera Pro. The sizing is like 80. You can follow along with this or you can make your own settings. I'm just showing you what we use in Vic's videos. I put a little shadow on it. So the size is gonna be smaller than the blur. It kind of makes this cool effect. And then what I do is I look through the subtitles. I play the video and I look for little things like little errors that the AI makes. For each cut, I try to hold control and then line up the subtitles with the cut because sometimes it does like this. So he says and over here, but it actually pops up here. So I got to fix that sometimes. Here, I don't want 3 billion to be apart, I want it to be together. But either way, I'm gonna be removing this. We're not gonna have subtitles here because there's a comp that literally says 3 billion, so we don't need that. Here, there's a dot, and then here, there's like no capital letter. We gotta fix that. So now the subtitles are clean. What I do is I apply an effect, I select them all, I go into effects and I apply one of my presets that I use for my subtitles. For me it's pop and smooth. You can make this yourself, it's basically just a transform effect with motion blur, which makes the subtitle pop in, so it goes from 60 to 100 with a little bit of keyframing, you can get it right. Yo, in the tutorial, I was being very brief with how to make the animation. So I'ma just real quick make a tutorial inside of the tutorial for you to understand how to make this pop in animation. You go to transform from distort transform, and then you disable the use composition shutter angle. You set it to 360. You go to the first frame and enable the scale. That's what you're gonna be playing with. And then you go like one, two, three, four, five, six. You put it to 100 here but before you do that you change these two parameters to 1800 you go 60 as the first keyframe and what you do here to make the animation look smooth because right now it looks like this right not very appealing but you take this you drag it all the way to the left and you move it down enough so that this line is not fully like straight it has like a little pixel going up so it's like a little bend, like not this much, but just like, like this much. Like just a little bit. And then you don't really touch this. And then you save the preset, you right click and then save preset, you name it whatever you want. And then you click anchor to endpoint, click OK. And now you've got a preset, you select all your things and then you go tutorial pop in. That's how it looks. Okay, we can go back to the video now. And then I nest it. And then I go into motion and I put it where I want it to be on screen. So for Vic, I usually just put it here, right below the middle line when you activate the safe margins. You see these two lines, I just put it right behind it and it looks like this. But the subtitles seem to be quite intrusive, at least lately since we've been doing a lot of After Effects compositions. So I do 70% opacity on my subtitles. Also, I remove them sometimes. So for example here, I already have 25 years on the composition. So we don't need that. And then this kind of looks abrupt. It just disappears. So I put a little opacity onto it. I hold control and I just click twice, make it fade out. You could also do sequence and apply video default video transitions and it's going to fade it out. So here we have another composition, Microsoft. We don't need to show the subtitles for this. So once again, I'm going to do the fade out. There you go. See here it kind of overlaps but i also don't want to remove the subtitles because they look pretty cool on this so what i do here as i do position i animate it i'm gonna put it on top of the comp like of the search box and then give it a little animation so it matches it so you can't really notice it now because it's very smooth here we don't need any subtitles the comp says everything so just 
completely delete them. But here we might need subtitles. You can't really tell what he means by just looking at that comp. So I'll just leave him like that. So here we don't really need subtitles since we have like a whole comp explaining everything 90%. I think it's quite obvious. So we're gonna just delete the subtitles for this. There you go. That's how you make subtitles. And that's how I make them for Vic. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel. We can post more tutorials. See you in the next one.